Good morning, friends. Cheryl here with Ink to Pulp. And we're back with another Art Before Breakfast. Hang on, I am getting my iPad up and running here so I can watch you on the iPad. So, how is everybody? Happy Monday morning. There's nobody here yet. I hope y'all had a great weekend. I did. We went to breakfast yesterday with the kids and grandkids. And that was so much fun. So much fun. Um, it's fun to watch little ones. The baby's still real little, but um, but the three-year-old, she was so much fun. I picked her up, and she threw her arms around me and just laid her head on my shoulder. I was like, I was melted. She had me right there. All right, let's get started. I want to show you all what I did. I put the bug a second one. This actually goes this way, and that goes that way. Um, I can't remember which one. I think this is the one, second one that I did yesterday. So I've got little buttons all over it, and I absolutely love these. Hi, Cheryl. I hope you're feeling better today. And, you know, I was going to, um, and I'm not going to do this online, April. I'm so glad you're back. All right, um, I think what I'm going to do instead is back them with this heavy, this is almost like watercolor paper, and it's coffee dyed, well, made to seem coffee dyed. So what I'm going to do is back them with this, and then um, just leave it for writing, because this is so thick, you don't feel the threads underneath. So um, I'll do that offline. Um, but I've decided they're already so bulky, I don't want to put, I was going to put pockets on the back and something you could slide in, but I don't want to make them any more bulky than they already are. But aren't those just precious? Like I told Mimi the other day, it reminds me of Dolly Parton's song, Coat of Many Colors. Actually, this one goes this way, at least how I originally had it, that goes that way. Because I remember this piece had this, but I left it, I left everything going off the edges and I will, I'll measure this exactly. And then I'll, I'll, you know, tear with my piece that fits and then I'll just glue it down on the back. I know, aren't those cute? I just, I don't know. I just wanted to do something different. I had this whole box of fabric, little fabric scraps. And so I decided we would just make some patchwork cards. I think they're awesome. Wouldn't that be fun in a journal? I want to do a sewing journal. This would be really pretty in a sewing journal. So there's that. And I will finish that on my own. Um, I thought today, I've seen these done on them. I thought today we could make some lace pockets or envelopes. I have these little placemats here. Um, I have these little placemats and I thought we could cut them Hi, Susan. I think I'm getting caught up on all your Marguerite Miller stuff. I've been working on it. So I thought we could cut this into pieces and make, and then I have some other lace too. We could maybe do some, you know, white, um, But I thought this would be fun just to fold up. Actually, we could fold it up to there and let this hang over and make a little envelope. What do y'all think about that? Have you ever done this? Cheryl, have you ever done a lace envelope? I've received them and I've seen them done, but I've never made them. And this might not be the right lace to do it with because 
um, the morning Lori, you have done them. You haven't, Susan? Well, let's learn together. Whoops, that's not straight. Just right at the end there. I got a little off. There we go. And so if we fold that up like that, and stitch it hi pam pam i am really bad your thing is just going out today i am so bad about getting things in the mail um but i bought and paid for the label and it's all in the envelope and it's going out today oh thank you donna there's susan's channel okay so how about now i was thinking that I could either slow stitch these together or I could machine stitch them and then slow stitch over them. And because this is so um, open, we'll do a different kind of lace that isn't as open, um, but because th this weave is so open, I think I'm going to do it. Is this how you did it, Cheryl? Um, I think I'm just going to do it this way and let and let that flop over. Everybody saying good morning. I've got a big announcement to make today, y'all. But I'll wait till some more people get here. All right, bear with me. I'm just going to stitch. And I think I'm going to do a zigzag stitch so it catches more of the pieces of the lace. Boy, my machine doesn't like going through these layers of lace for sure. Gotta help it through. really doesn't like going through that heavier lace and maybe it's because it's open and the teeth on the feet are getting or the teeth are getting caught in it I don't know what it is but I don't like it Well, just sitting right there by the sewing machine where I could have found it any time is um, or were my scissors that I have been looking for forever. All right. So there it is. Kind of wonky. Should we do some tea dyeing on it or I can do. Oh, hi, Beverly. Um. Put fabric on the inside, though. Oh, I didn't. I left it just as a lace pocket. 
Oh, well, it worked, sort of. The machine had a hard time feeding this lace through. The ones that I've received didn't have anything on the inside. It was just a pretty lace pocket, but we'll... Look at that. Isn't that pretty? And then that just folds over and I can iron that down. So how shall we decorate this? Anybody have ideas? I can put some pretty slow stitching. Yeah, on the inside. I know, I just didn't do that. I did just lace. This is just a lace, little lace envelope. What shall we do? Mm, coffee. What do you guys think? Shall we grunge it up a little? What do y'all think? I've got some coffee here. Do you know, I've had this coffee here forever. I mean, like months. It didn't, it hasn't molded. It doesn't stink. It's um, perfectly fine. And so I just keep it here. And fill it up when I need to. But it's just a little spray bottle of coffee. All right, let's dry this a bit. Light grunge, okay. spread out this that I've been using to wipe my table with. It's got all sorts of colors on it, but I want to put it down so we can sop up some of the moisture. Good morning, Paula. We're working right up your alley today. We're making lace envelopes. And I know you love your lace. <laughs> yeah, it does that autocorrect thing. And it is maddening. Okay, just a little bit, not too much. There's just a little bit of coffee on there. What we could do, I was thinking would be pretty, is to put a button right in the middle. It wouldn't go all the way through, but oh, you guys, you're going to recognize this, Cheryl. Look at this huge tin. Isn't it pretty? This is what my butter cookies came in. <laughs> well, you could make up a bunch of these envelopes and sell them. Let's see what would look pretty on there. How about that? That's probably too big, too bulky. And just look at all of these buttons. There's a white one. That's pretty, but it's very white. Now, you know what? I might be able to do is take a button with a shank and push the shank through to the other side and leave it open so that you could like loop some thread in there or a little piece of ribbon. I don't know. How about that button? It's a little dark. Ooh, how about that? A pink with a little bling in it. You guys like that? Yes. 
Yes, you like that? I like it too. I still have several bags and boxes of buttons to throw in that big tub, but I thought I would get them all in one place. And um, I'm not going to try to loop it. I think that would be too much. Um, that button hopefully will hold the flap down because it's heavy. Oh, here we go. This is from yesterday. Let's put some off-white. I think that would be better. Or I even have a... No, we'll do off-white because of the pink. So let me show you guys while you're here what I decided to do on the weekend project. A lot of you weren't here yesterday, but here's the cards that we did. Um, and remember, these were just uh, cardstock cards that I took multiple fabric samples or scraps. Um, and I just glued them down and then I just randomly sewed and then I went and put buttons on all of them. I didn't get the second button piece done yesterday, but I did it yesterday afternoon. And then instead of, I was going to make a pocket on the back and instead of doing that, I've got this really heavy paper. I'm just going to back them with that because you can write on it and it's heavy enough that you don't um, really feel the buttons or the stitching beneath it. So that's what I'm going to do with those. Aren't those just the cutest? All right, let's get back to this one. All right, through the needle. And I am going to sew this one on. Let me find just about the middle of it here. It is about four inches. So the middle is about right here. Although visually that doesn't look like the middle. So I'm going to move it to where it visually looks like the middle. Um, so I have to ask, Cheryl's not been feeling well. She's been having a rough time. Um, how are you feeling today, my friend? And I'm going to leave this. I'm not going to, well, I might as well cut it because I'm going to have to. And actually, I'm going to do it the other way. I'm just going to cut off a piece of this and I'm going to sew it from the top so I can put the knot. Yeah, I got that on Amazon. I think I saw, I think I saw Gail Augustinelli use it. So I started, um, she said she got hers on Amazon, so I went out there and started searching, and I found it. Now I can't get this thread back through the needle. Come on. Go in there. Get it really flat. Um, and so I bought some. It's like watercolor paper. It's really heavy. The only thing I don't like about it is that when you tear it, the core is very white. So, I mean, it's no big deal because you just can ink it up, but it's not colored all the way through. There we go. All right. So I am going to put this in from the top and then I can tie a knot around it. So that's where I want it. Through this, down here, up here, 
once I get it down once it'll be easier this um, hole is not that big so I probably am not gonna be able to go through a whole lot of times but I'm gonna tie it now and then I'll still try to go through some one more time at least to stiffen it up but if I can't I can't you guys Thanksgiving is only two weeks away What are y'all doing for Thanksgiving? Anybody got special plans? Anybody going out of town? I didn't see if Cheryl feeling okay. Thank you. Okay. I know you've been feeling really puny. And I hate that for you. I hate when anybody's not feeling good. <laughs> she just yanking your chain, Paula. Paula is one of the most polite people I have ever encountered on YouTube. And by that, I mean that whenever somebody, like she claims something in a sale, she always says thank you. She always says you're welcome after... Um, you know, somebody thanks her, and she, she's just so polite, and I've noticed that. It is noticed, Paula. And if she thinks that she's not done something right, she's all about the apology, and I just think Paula is the most polite person on YouTube. Hi, Mimi. All right, Paula, go ahead and say it. Thank you, Cheryl. I know it's coming. Because that's who you are. You're the polite lady. There. And even after all that, saying I want to get it in the middle, it's not quite in the middle, but it's close enough. Look at that. Thank you, Cheryl. <laughs> I knew it. All right. Shall we put anything else on this one? Shall we put some slow stitching going down the side, maybe? Or around the bottom? Or shall we just leave this one and move on and do another one? Mimi, we're doing lace envelopes. Ah, good morning, Tammy. So your son took over cooking. I wish somebody would take over cooking for me. It's just going to be my husband and I, my, our son and daughter-in-law, her family's all coming up to her house for Thanksgiving. And while we are always invited to that, we just, I don't know, we're just going to stay home and do our own thing. Do another one. Okay, please. Okay. So there's that. Oh, isn't that just adorable? Then you can open it up and stick something in there. That is adorbs. Okay, let me find a different kind of lace that we can use. Um... This will make kind of a small pocket, but look at this. This is, oh, this is cut in half. I don't like it. I want it to be solid across so we have the scallops on the other side, too. Hang on. I'm looking. And I know I've got some. Got some really wide lace. Here's some right here. Here's some here, and 
it's not cut to the scallops, but I can do that real quick. I can fussy cut it. But that would make an envelope that big. Is that too big for a journal? No. So we'll make a big one. And I think I might do... Um, Cheryl's idea of putting some fabric on the inside. Since this is so sheer, although like I said, the one I got was um, just sheer. And I think it came with a um, some lace inside of it. I think I, it came with something I ordered. Let's see, we have our Thanksgiving. Oh, the Saturday after. Three dishes, that would be. We usually use the church because our family's so big, yeah. Hubby won't be here, I've been invited to sons. Not sure if I'll be able to handle 11 kids. Yeah, it's just my husband and I. And you know what's funny? We're going to have turkey forever or it will go in the freezer. Um, last year, hubby's work, after I had already bought the Thanksgiving, last year we invited um, two single guys from my husband's work and they came over and he doesn't want to do that this year. He just wants to have it just be us and be quiet and, you know. He just wants it to be us. So, um, last year, after I had already bought my turkey, hubby's work gave him a 20. Oh, no, I want to try it, Cheryl. I want to try it. I hadn't even thought of that. So, I thank you for the idea. Um they had given him a 20 pound turkey. So I've got a deep freezer out in the garage. So I said, let's just throw it in the freezer. And, you know, at some point during the year, you know, we'll make a big turkey dinner. Well, we never did do that during the year. So it's still in the freezer. So I am making a 20 pound turkey. And I did a lot of research. Is it still good after a year? And, oh, absolutely. If you've had it, you know, in a deep freeze, it's still good. So um, so I'm going to cook a 20 pound turkey for two people. And you know, we're going to be having some leftovers. We'll be eating that turkey for a dang week. But I'll make a big pot of turkey soup and then maybe freeze some of it. You know, for later in the winter. Yeah, we we do have quiet sometimes. We'll watch, you know, we always watch the Thanksgiving Day Parade. And then, um, you know, we watch football all day. And it's just, it's just fun when it's the two of us. I mean, we don't like to do it all the time. But like I said, we invited some guys over last year. Okay, so let's find a fabric. That will look pretty under there. Hang on, I have to go around to the other side of my desk where, oh, I've got some fabrics over here too. Um, I'll be right back. Mm -hmm. I'll be right back. Okay, I'm going to let you guys decide. I picked out three that I thought would look nice. So, A is this kind of teal blue with black patterning on it. And you can't really see the patterning through it, which is why I pick stuff that isn't, you don't need to see it. You just basically see the, the teal blue through there. 
So that's A. B is this black and white check, which looks nice. Again, you don't see a lot, but you do see the black and white checks through there. Okay, that's B. And then C is this one with the leaves. I got something with a small pattern, so I think you can see it. I don't, I don't know how good that works, but A, B, and C. Oh my gosh, me too. Oh my gosh, on, on white bread. I don't eat white bread a lot, but white bread and mayonnaise and a turkey sandwich, holy cow. Okay, so you guys all vote. I have one for B, two for, and B is the black and white check. B, 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 B. Donna wants A, but I've got four Bs, so nobody wanted C, which I didn't think was right anyway. So A and B. Is it B? All right, B it is, I think. I'm sorry, Donna. But, no. Take this off because I won't be selling this piece anymore. I'm getting into my fabrics that I normally sell. And so what I'm going to do is go and just stitch around. I'm going to tear this so that it's um, closer in size, but I'm going to go around and stitch it and then we'll um, fold it up. Let's see. I can go on this corner. And up here. I like this black and white fabric. I'm surprised. I thought you guys would have picked the teal. That would that would have been my it wasn't my preference necessarily. It's just what I thought you guys would pick. All right. Here we go. Oh, low battery. Let me plug in my iPad before I lose battery. And let me see if I can tell. This is one of those laces. I don't think it's an expensive lace. I don't think it's vintage lace. It's just a piece of lace and it's going to work just fine. All right. So what I want to do is pin this down a little bit so it stays in place. And then I'll go, you're just why? What was that, Beverly? Oh, my big announcement. My big announcement is that I'm going to change our schedule a little bit. Um, I am going to start taking Sundays off for several reasons. One, that's the only day my son and daughter-in-law have off together. And so if we want to do things with them, like yesterday we went and had breakfast and I had to rush. If you guys went and watched the replay, um, I had to skedaddle out of here by nine so we could go meet them for breakfast. So I just want to have Sundays to be able to spend with family. And I don't get as many people on Sundays. And I'm sure it's, you know, because a lot of people go to church, that's their family time. Um, and I just don't get a whole lot of viewers on Sundays ever. Yesterday, I think we had four, um, which is fine. I don't mind doing a live stream for four people, but if I had to, you know, pick a day not to be there, that would be the one. So, um, let 
Nope, I don't, Mimi. Um, so I'm not going to be, um, and I'll make it, I'll announce it a few times so that everybody hears it. I know I really do need a day for family. Um, all right, I'm going to go. sew this, I'll be back. So my family day is going to be Sunday. This lace is sewing a lot easier. It's not as thick. All righty then. Here we go. Just have to cut this baby out. Yeah, I don't know if that's what it is. Well, it's not just that for me. I have been really struggling since I got back from my last show. I'm going to do pinking shears top and bottom um, to get really back into the metal stuff. I mean, I did my custom orders that I had to do, but then, you know, I need to make these gnome night lights. I need to, there's so many things that I need to do and I just can't get into it. <laughs> Big Mom is here. Um, I've just had a really hard time finding my metals mojo. Now, paper stuff, I can play with all day long. But I have got to work on the gnomes today. I have to. I keep saying I'm going to do it, and then I don't end up not doing it. All right, there's that. Ooh, shall we leave? Shall we leave the black hanging over? Do you guys like that? Or should I cut it off to the scallop? You guys tell me. Leave the black edge or cut it off. I like it showing. Okay, one for leave it. What do the rest of you think? What do you all think? Leave it? Leave? Leave? Okay. We shall leave it then. So now I just need to sew together the sides. That top is really crooked. I'm going to take it down lower so I'll have room to get something in it. Because look at how it goes crooked. 
and I'm not I've already stitched it so although I could stitch it again maybe I'll stitch it again and get it maybe I'll stitch it right along this white line here and then stitch it together okay I'll be back much much better much better looks like someone who knew what they're doing actually made this Paula, you should try this for some of your late telling you this is fun and it's so pretty. This one is a bit more substantial because it's got that fabric in there. I really like that. And I like it sticking out the sides. I think that's really cool. Cool looking. And then the frayed edges. And then I've got my pinked edges at the top here and I've got this and we're going to have to have something to hold this down yeah these are I mean look at that how pretty that is now what I could do if I can find them And maybe I could just iron it. I may not want to. I was thinking about putting maybe some Velcro in there. Heavy piece of a brooch. Okay. I put all of my... Well, they're not necessarily brooches, but the stuff I got from Big Mama. That's not the right color. Uh, 
Oh, look at that. That's really big. But see, these still stick up, but I can iron that. Oh, just go on to Amazon and and uh, Google gravy boats. I'm sure there will be a ton of them. Okay, those are all of those big pieces. I really like this here, but it's really, really thick. So, let's see... Oh, that's actually the back side. There's a flatter one, just a pearlescent little button that we could glue down. Could sand that off. Look at that. You guys like that? It's nice and flat. So you guys, I have, I make good tasting gravy, but it's always lumpy. I always have lumps in it. When I make, not with, if I make milk gravy from, um, there's a smaller one. Um... But it always comes out lumpy. And I did some searching on the web for why does my gravy... Oh, look at this. We could add a pop of color with red. What do you guys think about that? And that's a nice heavy piece. I think this one's too big. Much as I like it, I think it's too big. Yep, and I make it, and it's um, completely, it's completely smooth, completely smooth, but I know, isn't that, and black and red go together really well, that just really pops, doesn't it, and then like I said, I can iron this down, um, but I really like that red. What do you guys think? Red, yes or no? It really does pop. What about everybody else? Give me a yes or no. Red, Big Mama's a yes. And so, Donna, what I found when I read or when I um, absolutely yes, yes. Okay. Um, what I found and what they suggested is not to pour your, you know, flour and water in too fast because that flour and water has to connect to the juices, you know, and it has to blend in. And if you put a little bit in and cook it for a little bit, then pour a little bit more and cook it, just not all at once because it overwhelms the juices. And what happens is it breaks off and forms those little flour clumps. That's what they said. So I, and the other thing I tried was straining a little more of the fats off of my, um, and keep stirring. Absolutely. Don't stop stirring. And so I tried that putting in a little bit at a time and I got, See, does that look like the middle? It does. And I've got a whole bunch coming out the side. Let me mop that up. Um, I got the smoothest gravy with this pot roast that I just made. Oh, my gosh, it was good. Had no lumps in it. I had to show my husband. I mean, we ate the gravy with the little lumps in it. They're just little white lumps. It's not like lumpy, lumpy. But I couldn't figure out why I wasn't getting Well, the grease and, and drippings, I pour the slurry into, as you call it. Um, and then I put broth once it starts thickening up. 
Um, but I got perfect gravy the other day. Oh, and that even lays down over here too a bit. So, all right. Do we want any other? Um, I love that it's pinked on here. Do we want anything else on this? Some stitching. I could put some red slow stitching on there. Um, we could put some ribbon on there. Or do you? I don't do that, but it works for you. You don't do what? Oh, the broth to the drippings and then um well and i'll tell you this last time that may be the clue because with my with my pot roast um i had a lot of because i already had broth it cooked in broth and i had a lot of juice at the bottom of the crock pot and i poured that all off into a pan to make my gravy and um And then I I skimmed off a majority of the the fat, um, and then I added my you know slurry to that that broth mixture, and that and that worked. Um, the broth broth to the drippings. I'll have to try that next time. Um, I didn't use broth this time. There were enough drippings that I didn't need to. But anyway, I got perfect gravy. Look at that. There's that one. There's that one. Shall we do one more? We have about 10 minutes left. I think this one needs something more, maybe down the sides or something, but let's do one more. <clears throat> Let me see what I've got here. How about, let's see, where do I have them? Um, those. Ooh, here's one that's like a curtain and it's kind of heavy. So we wouldn't have to put. We wouldn't have to put cloth behind it. We could just do this. And we could fold it. No, we're not going to fold it. We'll fold it up. We could fold it this way. So we have this at the bottom. We have this like seam at the bottom. So I'm going side to side and then what I'm going to do is cut it. Down here a bit and then across so I get my flap. Yep, that's the right side. So there's that. And then we have our flap, which isn't quite big enough I don't think I want to have a big old flap leave in the leave the wiggle in the flap I'm not sure what you mean the wiggle what's the wiggle wow that came out to be a really small pocket I almost made the flap too big Maybe not. All right. What do you think about that, you guys? And we'll just leave it.
Yeah, check on um, check on Amazon. I bet you can find some. So Donna, what was the wiggle that you were asking me to leave? I'm probably cutting it away right now. Um, and I still cut that crooked. There, that's better. All right. So there's a piece there. Oh, it wasn't cut. I know and you said leave that. I, you know, as I was cutting that, I was, I thought, I bet that's what she means by the wiggle. I don't know about this thing at the bottom. It's real thick. Well, I'll cut around it. I'll sew around it. And then if I want to cut it off, I can. I can always cut it. All righty then. It's okay once it's sewn together, I guess. Um, let's cut all these strings off. I don't want to leave strings on these. 13 of 9. Yes, thumbs up, please. Thank you, Donna, for rem reminding us. All right, so there's that one. What do you guys think about this at the bottom? Do we leave it or should I cut it off? Because I've got room to cut it off. Cut or leave? Help me out. Oh, lots of little pieces for my scrap bin. Put a small decorative piece of lace. Uh, oh, down here. Smart. Smart, smart, smart. You are so smart, Paul. This one might be too big. We could put that across there. Do you like that? It's bright white, but we could decorate with some little flat back pearls across. Dangly lace. Yeah, that's what this one is going to be. What do you guys think about that? That's exactly what I did, you guys. We all had the same idea.
So here's this, and it's got dangles off the bottom. What do you guys think about that? And then, like I said, we can decorate with some pearls on there. What do you think? I'm going to sew it on. Oh, this is going to make the envelope smaller, but that's okay. Actually, let's see if I can... Do it so we go right in the middle of that. My poor soul doesn't do really well with real thick stuff. The feet don't want to feed it through. Okay. So that's not going to work. I was going to sew right over the top of that ridge where the, um, you know, that heavy stuff is, but I'll have to sew right beside it. And that'll be okay because that's where the original stitching was anyway. Let's see. I got it. Now I'm thinking it needs a little bit of color. So let's, what's our time doing? We're only at 102. Time to finish this up. So let's finish this one up. All right. We've got that. Get rid of these threads. We'll have that going down. Now, I had the other day, we were going to use it. What if I just put that little tiny pink rickrack across? I, I need a longer piece, obviously. But what about putting that little pink rickrack right above What do you think? I have bigger rickrack, but I think this something Christmassy on the flap. Do you don't do a lot of Christmas stuff? Um, yeah, I'm thinking just putting this pink right here. And then some white flat backs. And then we could put a big kind of pearly button at the top. I could put something Christmassy on it, Donna, but one, I don't make Christmas journals, so I would never really use it. Um... And if I'm selling it, it's got limited. Oh, you don't need to take your comments out, um, Donna. They're good comments. I'm just not really big into. I'm big into Christmas, the season, just not for crafting. I guess I've always just seen it as so limited in use. Whoops make that straight oh 
Okay, and then we'll put you guys like the idea of some little pearls at the bottom? Oh, this thing is taped together somewhere. Come on. There it is. There it is. Bye, Susan. Have a wonderful day. Yeah, maybe next year. I Now, I do make usually for that October market, I usually do have Christmas decorations that I've made up, and I didn't do any this year, so... Um, which might have been one of the reasons I didn't quite have the sales that I wanted. Oh, cow, these have a lot of static on them. Um, so I've got big ones down to little tiny ones. Let's look at this size right here. How about that size? Just put... I don't know what millimeter these are, but they're kind of mid. Well, come on. Use some again. I'm going to have to put these in smaller containers, one for each size, because the static electricity is crazy in them. And one more right here. All right. So what do you guys think about that? I'm going to set this over here. I'm not going to attempt to put that lid on right now. What do you guys think about that? Oh, yeah. No, agreed. Absolutely. Um, when I have Christmas stuff, I always sell it. I just didn't. I've just not had, I don't know, my mojo lately has been more for the paper crafting stuff than the um, metals. And I need to get my metals mojo back because if I don't get some more stocked in Durham, I'm going to have a really crappy Christmas. November is starting out okay, but not like it usually is. I usually do really, really well at Christmas, and I count on that money to hold me over till, because sales are really slow in January and February. Well, January last year, I had a good January last year, but February, holy cow, you might as well not even be open at the store. It's so bad. People just aren't spending money. And then March, when spring comes, it gets a little better. April and, well, February has Valentine's Day. So sometimes you get a Valentine's Day bump, but um, not huge. All right, so there's that at the bottom. And now up here at the top, I was thinking maybe... Nope, that's not white enough. Now we have all the white on there. Ooh, that's kind of pretty. It brings in another color, but gray and pink are wonderful together. And feel free to tell me yay or nay if you like it or not. What about that on the top? That's one of uh, Big Mama's buttons. Good morning, Vanessa. Yeah, I was thinking pink too, but that could be, I don't know. I just really kind of like that. Nope, Paula says no. And Donna says pink to match the... 
Okay. Let's see what I've got. How about that one? We could sew it on with some white thread. Ooh, look at that one. That's got some pretty, I think this is another one of Big Mama's. Look at that one. This is white though, but it pulls up the idea of the white pearls. Look at that one. That's pretty. That one's very delicate. Oh, yeah, I could do this other one with a pearl in the middle. It'd have to be a big one, but I have a big one here. Your old lace looking buttons. I don't. Uh, Come on. I really like this one because it's, mm, that looks kind of funny. To me, it looks like a nipple. I don't want any nipples on my bags. Um, the pink one was good. The pink, the pink. got that big piece it's got some hues of red in it but it's also got the pink but it's also very oh 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 ooh. this might be it it's a little bit lavender but it's also pink i don't know i don't know if that goes Here's one with pink and gold and a little bit of gray. Oh, that's pretty too. I like that. What do you guys think of that? Do you guys like that on there? No, the soft pink one, this one. And if we put some white thread in it, I had some white I was already using here. If we put some white thread in it, it's too contemporary. Yeah. It is, but that's okay. We could do contemporary once in a while. What would you put on it? Um, oh, yep. You didn't include one in that box you sent me because I'm pulling out of all the... Um, I think it is, but hang on. Hang on a sec. It's the only one I have handy, put it that way. Well, hey, we teleported a piece of paper. We should be able to teleport a button. Do you still have that, Big Mama? Your little... Uh, framed piece with the let me get this one ready and then I'll look and see what else we might have well, I, don't want I don't want these okay so now that has some white thread in it which I like um 
And these little halfback pearls are going everywhere. Okay, so what was the question? Do we have another pink button? I really don't. Um, at least not in the... I probably do, but it's... Um, oh, just a minute. I found another container of buttons. Let's look at these. See if there's anything in here. Oh, I have these pretty buttons that have a little bling of they're small, but I have those. Let's see if I have any pink in here. I'm not seeing anything so far. have a big white one. I think we need some color. I don't like that. Nope. Don't want to introduce yellow. And no other pink in here. Yeah, I think... Um, this will have to do. Oh. I have this one that's got like feathers on it. And it's pink. So you guys tell me, do you like this? You like the one with the feathers? Yes. It has a little more to it than just a plain button. Yes, 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 yes. I got a lot of yeses on that one. Okay. I like it when everybody's... I can tell when everybody's kind of on the fence that it's probably not quite the right thing. Um... This one, everybody's loving. And what I would like to do, if I can, is, um, I don't know if I have anything handy. Hang on, let me look at this. I'm looking for a little tiny, 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 Like a white doily that um, could go under that button just to give it some something, something. Oh, oh, Cheryl, I think this is the stuff from you. I'm not positive, but I think it is. What about... And I know I'm way over time, but it's very subtle, but what about a little piece of pink lace right underneath that button? And it's very subtle. You can almost not see it. Do you see that little bit of pink lace? And it's like a baby pink. What do y'all think of that? No? Yes? How about a yes or a no for me? I could put two pieces down. Yeah, let me put two pieces. And that'll give it just like a little 
Hang on. There we go. It's not right in the middle, but how about that? Do you see the pale pink underneath it? This came from you, didn't it, Cheryl? I think it did. I think that's the bag you sent me. What do you think about that? Just a little pale pink. Yeah, I think it works. I think it does. Yeah, I think I'm going to use this. And just put it kind of right here in the middle. Oops, I see what's happening. It's folding over at the bottom. All right, let's put that. And then I think we can just put this one right over the top of that. Yeah, I think that was your bag that I was pulling stuff out of. There we go. Take this little bit of sticky tape. Okay, you have a great day, Donna. I want to make sure I put this on because I want the darker stuff on the bottom. Okay. I think that is awesome. All right. Here it is, all finished with a little bit of lace. It doesn't show a lot, but it's there. And you can see it better in person, I think, than you do on camera. Look at that. Isn't that pretty? Pretty, pretty, pretty. It's not focusing real well. There we go. There we go. All right, you guys. There's that. Now I've got a lot of stuff to clean up, which is fine. And I have been cleaning up. I've been very good. All right. So here are the three that we made today. Now let's do this and this way. There we go. There are our little lace envelopes, three different ones. What do you guys think? I love these. I know. I love them too. You love everything, Mimi. You're so dang easy going. You love it all. Hmm. I may play around with this one a little more. Add something to it. Maybe. All right, you guys. Yeah, they are really pretty. I love them all. I love this pop of red on here. Um, love it, love it, love it. Okay. Let me put my scissors away. So you like my new button tin, Cheryl? That great big old cookie tin. All right, ladies. I am going to call it a day and go and work on stuff. And I may do some slow stitching on this one. Just put some X's or some, just to give it a little more kind of a grungy character. And this button, I may cut it off and put it down flat because it's wobbling a lot. So, all right. Thank you. 
ladies, I appreciate you being here and participating. You know I love you. And I will see you tomorrow morning. Everybody's going to go head off to see Janet Nash now. All right. Bye. Have a great day. Love you all. Thumbs up if you haven't yet.